Hey guys, we're back with Slay the Princess. Last time we finished our route, I guess? Like, my, my thoughts on how this game works changes every time. But So I'm pretty sure we're just trying to collect all the Cthulhus to give to the big Cthulhu to get to the true ending where we kill the big Cthulhu. I don't know. Let's just go off. Silently continue to the cabin. You make your way up. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the blade is your imp. Uh, I'm gonna take it just to see if I can. Well, I mean, we needed to cut off her arm anyway, don't we? Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. Although we've never not taken the blade. We should try that out sometime. The door to the base. Hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Okay, so she, she is talking a little red text. She's being a little creepy already. You walk down the stairs. Maybe we shouldn't have taken the blade. The princess. There's a heavy chain around um, her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. What? No way. Why would he even think that? That giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Hey, I'm just here to talk. The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Yep. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can... Okay, drop it. Blade tumbles out of your trembling hands okay, um, and drops to the floor with an Are you coming on to me? Uh, what's your name? She hesitates before aunt. Uh, how long have you been down here? How would I get you out of here? Okay, we've talked enough. Okay, we still have the option to kill her. Okay. Getting you out of here. Uh, there isn't a key to go. Um, you have any ideas besides me cutting you out of here? That would be fine. I can lose an arm. <laughs> Very nonchalant. She speaks with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. Anything to finally be free. I mean, that's fair, honestly. Like, she's been down here for presumably her whole life or a long time. You attempt to make your way out of the bait. Um. Do you think the narrator shut us on? Shut it on us? Try the door. Hey, let me out! Shouts and please. Okay. Um. Oh! Narrator! We only have the option. Narrator! What the heck? I guess we're slaying her. Without hesitation, you bring the blade down. The princess flinches as you strike and your weapon sinks into her shoulder. This is a new ground because we didn't tell you she can end the world. You bastard. If I have to kill you to leave this place, I'll do it. And we should have gone for a more fatal wound. Also, she's red text, but that, that might not be demon red text. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. Yeah. It's an act. She's unarmed and there's nothing she can do to hurt you. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Don't waver now. As you raise your blade to strike again, she kicks out, knocking your legs out from under you. The two of you struggle on the ground. You lash out with the blade, slicing wherever you can. Her fists connect with your body again and again, each blow stronger than the last, shattering bone and rupturing tissue with reckless abandon. I like the shot. Now it's, you know, three sieges in one. Forget trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. Yeah! Play the princess. You roll out of her grasp and shake and push yourself back. Oh, your wait. Foot. I'm still alive! Though every inch of you is in pain, the princess probably has it worse. Blood pours out from countless gashes, staining her once pristine dress. She pauses for a moment, catching her breath, staring at you with wild eyes. We can still turn this around. Okay, I guess finish the job. You steal your resolve and take another step towards the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure she won't make it out of here either. Excuse me? What was that about not making it out of here alive? <laughs> yeah! Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? the princess doesn't do our friend in herself internal bleeding is certain to finish the job like we said our friend implying that the voice of the hero isn't us like the, the narrator knows right like it's just i don't i don't know what's going on here 
the two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. Hey, we got her. The two of you fall to the floor. This was fun. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder, do you really think this is the end? Nope, I was literally forced to kill you. I didn't want to do this. But you don't have the time to worry over her words. Everything goes dark, and you die. Yeah, yeah, the adversary. Who do you think we have now? You're on a path in the woods. You're here to yeah, slay yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Uh, sure, she got me killed, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? <laughs> um, no, let's... We don't play our hand. Proceed to the cabin. A warning. If she will lie... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She... Lying and cheating doesn't oh, sound... Stubborn! At all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. We love Stubborn. Are you sure about that? The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? Yes, yes. Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. Proceed to the cabin. Okay, I'm not going to take the, the play this time. The tighter than its exterior would suggest. Its cold stone walls press in on you as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What yes, yes, yes. About? This isn't a wall. We've done this before. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. But it has a disappeared. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But there was a mirror a second ago. Is this not a mirror? And now it's gone. So all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. Is that not the mirror? Am I, am I stupid? That's, okay, this, just the wall is like, okay. I'm not taking it. No knife this time. Right then, fisticuffs it is. Oh, damn. Probably more fair to her anyway. Wouldn't want to feel like we cheated our way to a win. As long as you can still get the job done. And don't forget that the blade is waiting for you upstairs if you happen to change your mind. Okay. The door to the basement creaks open. Yeah, that line again. <laughs> stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive with an almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Stop saying that. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. Oh no. Goku Cthulhu. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. <laughs> it's Stubborn's waifu. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. Wait, what? As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Okay, so she's a little satan right? But she's not, like, big. I don't think the last one had a tail, did she? So, and she has she has hoofs this time. I, I don't know if the last one had hoofs. I don't know if this is a new Cthulhu or not. Is this Fury? That's what the, the last one was called, apparently. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Oh, it's you again. And I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. And I mean, the last one felt like more like a... Like a god, right? This one feels more like a... I don't know, she's just here for a good time. But no little knife this time, huh? Don't need it. No, I hope you're not just here to chat. I've been itching for a rematch. I mean, let's give the lady what she wants then. I was gonna talk to her, but... Um... So you do remember me. 
No, I remember you all right. Best three minutes of my life. Yeah, so, I've heard that before. Why don't we do it again? Or are you scared I'm going to put you down for good this time? All right, fine. If you're not going to address it, I will. <laughs> yeah, I got your narrator. You've already met the princess. The princess has already met you. The two of you killed each other. Did you think you'd be able to just openly talk about all that without me noticing? Yeah. Maybe. You did seem to just gloss over the whole thing for a while. Of course I glossed over it. When a colleague says something insane, glossing over it is one of the best ways to stay focused and keep moving forward. Oh, he has a point. But enough is enough. I believe you. And that's all the more reason to take this seriously. Oh, I mean, I never mentioned it this playthrough, but I guess the game just assumes you. You don't know that whatever brought the two of you back to life isn't a fluke. And beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember. Well, that sucks to be you, uh, dude. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay! As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. No, I didn't think about it that way. <laughs> Sorry, narrator. Uh, just because it bothers you, I'm going to take this even less seriously. You don't know the depths of my apathy. <laughs> oh my god, I love that response. You're joking. I'm just going to pretend that you're joking. <laughs> nope. Yeah, <laughs> Throw in the badge. Be joking. We can't oh. win unless you take this seriously. I guess I do care about stubborn and hero. Um. I'm not saying I'm not here to fight you, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first. Like how we're both still alive. Um. I don't know what happened to you since we last fight, but I'm not fighting a giant demon lady. Bye! <laughs> Turn around and leave without saying anything. Actually, just do the chat. Haven't we talked enough? Do you really have anything else to say? Or are you just stalling because you're scared I'm going to kill you again? I'm actually here to free you. Yeah, sure. Free her? You want? <sighs> I don't know why I'm even bothering, to be honest. You know the stakes of the situation. You see, the giant, the fury was mean to me. The Satan Cthulhu, she like, this one, she just wants to fight, have a good time. I'll let her go. Who says I want to be free? Oh, pshh. I hate this. Come on, don't get philosophical on me. If you don't want to be free, then what do you want? I want the two of us to fight to the death. I want to feel your knife split my flesh. And I want to hear your bones snap beneath my fists. Is that really too much to ask? And yeah. Yeah. Especially that last part. <laughs> Don't be such a coward. I'm just being cautious. If it comes to violence, we can find a way to deal with her that doesn't involve throwing our life away. I'd rather not die again. Fair. And I find it deeply disturbing that you seem to relish the thought of it. <laughs> yeah. Because it doesn't matter if we die again. It'll just be another opportunity to have the fight of our life. You know, that I mean, we death doesn't really have any consequences for us, we so... We don't know that for sure. Well, and it does I'd for them. not bet on it. Because they can only die, you know, three times and they're out. It's like baseball. I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first. Like how we're both still alive. What is there to unpack? I was dead and now I'm not and the same goes for you. There. Unpacking done. I mean, if you think about it, this is like the nicest Cthulhu we've met so far, right? Like, the mask Cthulhu was insane and kept turning our body off, you know. The Fury was the Fury. But this one, like, Don't you get she's it? almost nice. We've been given free reign to wail on each other. For Couldn't have oh. said it better myself. They get off forever. Um... I wanna go get the blade. I'll be waiting. You make your way back up the stairs to the cabin above. The princess, surprisingly true to her word, lets you leave. The blade remains where you left it, on the wrought iron altar. Yep. Great. Now pick it up and march back down there. I'm tired of us constantly moving in circles instead of fighting her like we're supposed to. Sorry, stubborn. No, we could just stay here. Who says we have to fight to the death? Me. I say that. Oh, he's got Staying a point. up here doesn't solve anything. All it does is kick the can down the road. 
If you don't deal with her now, she will find a way out. Those doors are made of stone and she's still in chains. She's strong, yeah, but is she break her chains and smash through stone strong? Yeah. Wouldn't it be exciting if she was? <laughs> I love Strawberry. Here's another idea. What if we just leave? Absolutely not. If you leave, she'll leave. And that'll be the end of everything as we know it. Uh, I mean, if we stay up here, do we unlock the... Do we go back to the mask route? But, I mean, we haven't done this route yet, so take the blade take from the, the altar. Take the blade from the altar. It will be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Return to the basement. If we leave, I assume we just get a bad end. Make your way back down the basement stairs. Where the hands get us. You'll find the princess waiting for you, just where you left her. Oh wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. See, I knew we could trust her. I told you we could trust her. Glad to see but... you finally stopped having cold feet. I could barely wait. My skin is practically crawling with anticipation. Gotta get those thumbnails. Fight me now. Attack the princess. Finally ready to complete your destined task, you launch off the wet stone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. I was kind of hoping you'd give me an option to just cut off her arm, but you Here know. Here we go. Let's make this count. Oh, we'll make it count all right. Yeah. As you bridge the gap, your blade slashes across the princess's chest, splitting skin and drawing a jagged line of bright red blood. But she's unfazed by your onslaught. Her expression barely changes as her fist collides with your ribs, cracking them like twigs and driving you right back down to the basement floor. I wonder what it would have been like if you didn't bring a knife. Can, can you, do you think you could cross counter? That'd be awesome. You can hear her chains snap as you struggle to recover from the impact. She we got her out! Disappointed in us. Why is she disappointed in us? <laughs> Stop her. Oh, you don't actually get it, do you? That knife may be sharp, but you clearly don't want to kill me. You got me. It's not fun if you hesitate. It's not fun if you try to trick me and make me bleed out. It's only fun if you go straight for the heart. You need to put everything you have into seeing me dead. Or what's the point? We could be friends. So don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. Kill me. Don't let her get in your head. Reincarnation or not, this world needs you to win. She's huge, but that probably means she's slower than us. Take it slow, think it through, and don't panic. Bleeding her out is our best course of action. Don't listen to them. She understands something that they don't. <laughs> the only way to win, the only way out of this, is through her. Um. Run, <laughs> strike at her hard head on. We're, we're no cowards. We go down in a blaze of glory, glory, just like Stubborn wants. If that's your plan, then that's your plan. You push off the ground, ignoring the pain in your ribs as you charge at the princess once more. You can feel flesh give way before a sudden impact blunts your momentum, your weapon tightly lodged in the bone of her arm. Yeah, we got her, guys. Look. Wins at you from behind her guard. We got her. Pull it out. We'll try a different angle. No, we can do this. Just keep pushing. Then we let go. Let, it's a trap. Let go. We're not gonna win if our weapon's stuck in her arm. Um. No, she wants it. I don't. Okay, look. I want to get. I want to. I want to. The princess's grin widens as the two of you push against each other. Her fiery eyes and masochistic glee practically lighting up the dreary cave. Yes, you finally get it, don't you? Push it in. Uh, I do. Yeah, this is this is this scene is a metaphor. It's marriage. Nothing exists outside of us. It's just you and me, dying and coming back, clashing against each other, forever. That's not what's going on. There's an entire world at stake here. I'm not sure. I've never seen this entire world. I've just seen you, narrator. Yes. And I don't really like you. The fate you. of the world doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is this fight. The only thing that matters is getting stronger. And the only way to get stronger is to win. Even if it takes us forever to get there. 
Your balance is suddenly thrown off as the princess pulls you into her knee. Oh no! Collides with your ribs, and you feel them splinter, My ribs. cracking like wet wood from the impact. I think I need those. We're fine. Okay. But you barely have enough time to notice before the princess follows up and smashes her forehead against yours. Your grip loosens from the impact, the blade still wedged in her arm as you tumble to the cold stone floor. I said we're fine. I didn't say you weren't fine. I was just describing what happened. <laughs> you might not have said as much, but you certainly implied it. Uh, say we're fine, narrator. It really doesn't matter. The princess glances down at the blade embedded in her arm, and with near total ignorance to pain, slides it out of its sinewy prison. You forgot this. Oh, thanks. She tosses it at your feet. Where'd the blood go? Uh, were you being metaphorical when you said nothing exists outside of us? More to the world than just the cabin. It's not the trees on my uh, everything on my way here. Pick up the no. Pick up the blade and attack her again. You and the oh. princess attack each other once again. Each of you dealing a single, terrible, lethal blow. Okay, see so you on the flip side. Wait, does that mean we're dead? Yep. Or rather, about to be dead. As your blade pierces her sternum, the princess buries her fist into the soft meat of your organs. You feel a few horrifically painful pops, a gush of fluid, and... It's over. It's finally over. So, this scene was totally meant to... Feel like an H scene, right? <laughs> just metaphorical. It's like that one scene in Umineko. No, with the it's ring. not. We're just getting started. Oh yeah! Heart, come on, just heart, heart, heart. But it is over. Dead is dead. I know this isn't the happiest ending for you, but you saved the entire world from ruin. There are few better endings than that. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna throw just to spite the narrator. Whoops. Well, are you going to listen to him, or are you going to listen to me? Get. Up. Hell yeah, brother. Get up. Wait, no, that can't be right. Your eyes bolt open and you push yourself back to your feet. <laughs> Alive. Ha! I told you. I told you this wasn't over. What about her? The we're too stubborn to die. Mind. What about her? If we're fine, then she's fine. Yeah. No, she's dead. She has to be. No! Yo, what's up, round two? We're all shit out of luck, aren't we? I knew it. I told you we should all believe in her. This is perfect. Let's go. The princess rises from the ground, staggering slightly, one hand wrapped around the hilt of the blade still buried in her heart. We don't even need to start over anymore, do we? Let's go again. Let's do it. She pulls the weapon from her chest, barely wincing, and hurls it at your feet. You know what to do. Again! Yeah! She came back. What's the point of fighting her if she can just do that? Let's go. Let's find out, hero. All of you need to settle down. This whole situation is coming dangerously close to untethering. She clearly never actually died. You just missed her heart. That's all. <laughs> oh, we just missed her heart. Oh, of course. That's all. You were the one who said we hit her heart. You were the one who said it was finally over. So I'm assuming every time we get a voice, she also gets a voice. So she has a stubborn of her own, that's the demon. Like, voice of the hero that's paralleled by voice of the princess. Well, I guess I had it wrong. You guess you had it wrong? Aren't you supposed to know everything? I never said I knew everything. You implied it. Close to untethering, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It, it means nothing, I shouldn't have said that. Oh? But you did say it. So it means something. Oh, stop bickering over nothing. Our destiny is right in front of us. Pick up the blade and go to her. Okay, okay, fine. That is what I meant by untethering. Do you hear him rambling on about destiny? He's lost the thread. And if you lose the thread, you won't be able to save the world. Well, I mean... And what is that supposed to mean? Exactly. I don't have to answer that, and I'm not going to answer that. Okay, then I'm not going to help you tether the world. Why the bloody hell not? Because right now, there's still a razor-thin chance that you're able to get your act together. There are patterns of thought out there that beg to be finished, but once you finish them, that's it. They change everything. There's no going back, and if I say anything else, you're going to finish one of those thoughts. I want to finish one of those thoughts. What? 
I mean, like, the princess can't die, don't you? Well, it's too late for that. I think we've all thought that one. The princess can't die. Um, too late for that. We've all thought that one. Yes, exactly. Like, the princess can't die. I tried, you know. I tried very hard to make this work. How do you? What do you want us to do? That you want us to kill someone who can't die? This is like one of those things where once you know it, you can't do it. But like, if, if you're ignorant, you can kill it. I uh, I don't like that resignation. Are you sure we can't just unthink it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like I said, I'm afraid some thoughts can't be unthought. I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to pour myself a stiff drink. If I'm going to see the end of everything, I'd rather not be sober. Okay. So I was right. Why are all of you so glum? This is perfect, isn't it? We get to experience greatness and battle and triumph forever. Let's go! But I think it was the stubborn one who said, your destiny awaits, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, hold on. There has to be another way. What if we just leave her down here? What if we run away? What if we convince her not to end the world yeah you can't reason with her ending the world is her fundamental nature it's not a decision she can flip on and off it is her and what exactly can't we leave her down here yeah because all it would do is stall the inevitable i mean hey that's better than the inevitable not being stalled and what's wrong with stalling yeah oh there's plenty wrong with stalling the end is still the end and i'd rather face mine head on i, I mean you mopey ass. Why did you even ask us to slay her if it was going to end like this? Yeah. Because it didn't have to end like this. If you don't mind, I'd rather not spend everyone's last moments arguing with you. It's time. Okay. Yes, I suppose it is. If, if we fight her forever, then maybe she can't end the world. Maybe everything can still work out. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to see how things play out. Don't you get it? You don't have to shuffle your feet. What comes next is going to last forever. You know, she's been very patient. Join your adversary. With an unbreakable determination, you snatch the blade from the floor and stumble back to your feet. Both you and the princess quake with adrenaline as your eyes lock across the basement floor and share a knowing look. Free from hesitation, you close the distance, both you and the princess aiming to end each other. This is the anime realm? Your blade digs into her neck, grinding against her vertebrae as her fist connects with your body. The impact forces the air from your lungs, stars dancing in front of your eyes as you fail to keep your bearing. You both collapse to the ground before either of you has a chance to survey the damage. And then we get up. <laughs> yep. Get up. Yes. And then you get up. That was a good one. More. Slay the princess. You and the princess exchange dozens of devastating blows. Sometimes you manage to strike first, and sometimes she tears through you before you have a chance to act. But more often than not, each of you fells the other in the same moment. What's going on in this one in the bottom right? <laughs> I can't even tell. So that's... Are those her organs? I think so? And then you get up and do it again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And again? We're all still here. This is all gonna be okay. <laughs> Isn't it? I like how nonchalant he is. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, I'm assuming he feels all of this. Isn't it? But he doesn't answer the voice. He'll never answer. He's gone. What are you waiting for? I'm right here. Do you think this is... What is this place? Yeah. Did we do this? Whoops. Huh. I didn't think we had it in us. But I guess that stuck-up control freak was right. It's the end of the world, isn't it? It's the end of everything. Oh well. Far from it. We're still here. And she's still here too. The princess stumbles and her body slumps. I feel so... tired. Ready to get handed? Yep. Okay. 
You do not get the chance to respond, and you never will. Time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where does she... Um... Been here before, and you always get scared. It feels so... Um... Uh, see you on the other side. It's gonna be okay. okay. It's the exact same thing, because we had the if same voices last so. time. Without... Well, we don't have paranoid this time, but... Approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Oh, you've withered. The decay. So just as, um... The Cthulhu is getting, like, a new, like, aspect or whatever every out. Or also changing every out. Proceed to the cabin. I don't think there's really much of a cabin. Oh, does she not have the heart on her at this time? I oh, she lost it. I chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Um, it can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. <laughs> and yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. Um... Doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? Eh, not really. Oh, that's actually an answer! It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. Um, I just wanted it all to stop. And if anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> it does seem small from here. And the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. But that doesn't make any of them less special. Um... What do you think of this vessel? This one yearns to grow and struggle. Even now I feel a will pushing against mine, not realizing that we are one. She will make for a fierce heart. Tell them about the last one. Do not mourn her. We will provide her with the growth she fought for. You know that at the end of the... Oh, no, no, no. You know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Okay. Uh, have you figured out what you'll want when we've, when we've finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. Not yet, huh? I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Uh, you still not care what I bring you next? I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Dang it, gift card time. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. Oh, that's nice. She's a nice Cthulhu. Uh, how many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me, thanks. Um... You don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change your girl. The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. My gift to you is to let you choose your path, and my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. Okay. Ready to go back? I will be here 
when it is time for us to meet again. Oh, everything goes dark and you die. That always that always gets me. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but a furious vessel. Okay, so furious was different from fury. I thought You're so, but on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. All right, next time we. I wonder what it's like. It didn't let us do anything but Slayer last time. So do you think we can actually spare her this time, or do you think we're going to be locked out of that? Guess we'll find out, huh? See you guys then. Bye.